Hello and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. Today we are trying to see what kind of transformation is happening in your life and how we can best speed it along. Um, so we have some oracle cards, a sprinkle of charms, and of course tarot cards. Alright, so let's take a deep breath in. Close our eyes. And as we exhale and open our eyes, choose whichever pile calls to you. Alright, let's get going. Hello group one. So let's find out what kind of transformation is waiting for you this summer. Okay, which is a very beautiful butterfly. Okay, we're gonna just leave these guys, the oracle cards for a little bit later. Um, but right now we have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So right off the bat, to me it seems like, um, well, you're you're heading towards you know fulfillment and happiness. Um, so I think here what what really calls out to me is that I think you had um right now, and this is what's the transformation. You you have more of a young energy, but it's also like um you act before thinking. Um, so you're in a in a kind of headstrong kind of way. <laughs> So you, you act before thinking, you just kind of jump into the situation, not really fully aware of what's going on, but you just kind of jump in, which is usually a, a really good um, thing. But sometimes I think for the things that you do want for this fulfillment that you, you want, this like overall fulfillment, the Ten of Cups, which is like, it's there's stability there. There's just like um, a lot of happiness, family, just everything just you see how they're just really happy um you're gonna need a different kind of energy than just like doing everything very quickly <laughs> you also tend to i think get a little bit in trouble for being just very honest <laughs> which is not a bad thing you just you know say things as they should um so here what i think but your transformation is more of working um you know working consistently taking your time, doing everything, like laying a strong foundation is what I'm thinking. You're laying down a strong foundation. Um, and so you're kind of leaving this energy behind, this energy of just jumping without any, like just going at it, not really knowing the facts, just kind of jumping in at everything. And you're, sti you're starting, and very quickly too. Um, so you're starting to slow down, starting to work diligently um focus on i think a lot of work yes and then we have like the page of pentacles which is also like he's very steady in progress that's slow but but it's good because it's a strong again i guess foundation is what i want to say the queen of swords I think you're also like heading there you you also maybe you actually weren't as blunt as you would want to be like she's very, she's blunt, she's very strong, very confident, um, she knows what she wants. Maybe, I think, yeah, here you didn't really know, it was a little cloudy, you are kind of still trying to figure out what you wanted to do, but now you, you know what you want to do. So, there's that, that kind of like, that's how you're heading forward. And I think you you're still in the beginning you're still you know you still have a little bit of, of time to go but overall I think you're very strongly and steadily going there um so I want to see okay so yeah so here we have sing your own song that's um actually has a lot with I think the queen of swords so you're gonna I think you're gonna start you're starting to learn how to um speak your truth um or sing your song so basically i think before maybe you you didn't know how to actually say it maybe you're also learning how to say it in, in a manner that is not um, just rash yeah like now you're you're singing a more dignified way <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but yes. Um, 
so yeah those are really good things i actually wanted to do these guys which are also you got two cards instead of one so you got poised and there's no place like home and home has a lot to do with this i think you're starting to build a home is what you're trying to do you're trying to like get ready to build this home that you've been wanting to build and you've been doing it very um kind of a little bit at not really a little bit at time but it was more like a confusion you kind of just were heading somewhere and you didn't really know where it was going but now you i think you have more clarity as to what you want and you do want uh something very stable and now you're also poised um so you're ready to make that change and actually i wanted to read to you what it actually says because um i thought it was really good and i think it's exactly what you need to hear so i'm gonna say for poise okay you can assure you can be assured that you are ready for anything right now you know what you need to you know what you need to your skills are sharp and you've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge and you sense a new phase of your life about to begin people surround respond to you and your and to your confidence and trust you this is an auspicious time to begin new things so i think yeah you see you're kind of ready to go you're this is your new phase you're heading to what you want to do you are more confident as you're becoming more confident and you're doing things much more pace yeah very good let's um let's actually do a little charms and then we'll do our star seeds and maybe some romance to see if there's any transformation in terms of love life okay so let's do a little sprinkle of charms okay so yeah there's me thought there would be music <laughs> but here be kind be, be be kind free peace strong happy thankful compassionate so I think all those things you're learning how to be all those things. Yeah, so here you're singing your own song. You're like learning, basically you're, you have your own voices that you're trying to do. Here we have the turtle, so you're going about it little by little. Um, I love you. Yeah, I think there's like romance here. You again have all the things you need. The keys are there for you. Before I think you were hiding all the all the wonderful things inside you you didn't really know how to like show the world but i think you're starting to open up you're starting to also take flight so you're not fully 100 percent there but you are you're close to it you're close to actually the progress that you want and there's a little cupid so i definitely think that there's a little love in your life coming or if it's already there there's like something that's blossoming um i also have like little um cubes with letters just because well i made them and i wanted to use them um so we have the letter s we have f we have g we have z which is interesting and we have p so it's interesting um those are initials it could be somebody who you know or some yeah somebody who's interested in something with you um or who's gonna help you? <laughs> Could be in your angels too. Okay, so let's see what kind of romance is in your transformation. Like, is there? I always believe there's always one passion. Yeah, I think there is passion. I think. Um, see, it would be interesting to me too if you actually <laughs> you were trying to become this queen. And then we also have like the the pentacle, the knight of pentacles there. So it'd be something hmm, that that would be cool if if the the counterpart was somebody who was strong, like steady, <laughs> where you're more um, brash, I guess. Rash. Okay. So let's also actually wanted to clarify the fashion. Um, so Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like, I think it's like a truth that is coming. There's a lot of truth coming to you. Like there's a, a lot of, yeah, like there's so many sword energy, so much sword energy. And there's like, the queen is always like very blunt, very truthful. So I think you're going to also discover the truth about a love that you, you're going through. All 
right, and let's do what kind of, let's see what sort of advice they have for this transformation that's coming to you um, over the summer, and it is free spirit, which I think you already have that, and I think love, because those are two things that were there. Love, live your truth and share the love that is in your soul and free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. Yeah. So I think you're slowly getting there, putting everything down that you need, and you're ready for it. So I think this transformation will definitely be very successful. And as you, you grow to be you know tell your truth but act from a place of like knowing what you want it's like she's very confident the queen of swords is very confident and as you do things little by little and work on everything you're going to see that everything is like like i want to say it's blossoming for you okay so that's it for you group one i think you have a very beautiful like summer coming up ahead <laughs> Lots of cool stuff happening, lots of like cool transformation. Um, very positive overall. I think you're good to go. <laughs> All right, have um, thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing and liking it. And just I hope you have a super wonderful day. And thank you for everything. Bye bye. Hello, group two. Let's find out what kind of transformation awaits you. Beautiful butterfly you chose and these are our, your oracle cards and we'll look at them in just a bit so right now we have the two of pentacles the two of swords we have the queen of pentacles the chariot and the magician reverse I usually don't have reverse cards so that's interesting that's actually very interesting okay so we'll start with this one because i think this is where you are right now <laughs> So I think right now you are feeling like you can't really manifest right now. You you feel like you don't have, I feel like you kind of lost a lot of your power. You feel like you lost a lot of your power. It's, so, it's mostly because you're out of balance and you don't know. Um, you're, you're just not sure what to do. <laughs> um, see, you have like the blindfold. You're not really sure. And here you're just trying to find your balance. So you that's why you're... You can't really feeling like you can't manifest right now. You're just feeling very um, out of balance, and and that is causing you to not know what choice to make. Again, the chariot is like success, but it also means it's like there's a choice for you. Like you're not really sure. They're both uh, the thing that I think you should remember is that either choice is going to lead you to success i think that's what the chariot really wants to tell you you're also trying to become the queen of pentacles which is like very motherly very giving um you're trying to find that stability again too she's very stable very nurturing again um so i feel like right now you're just you here you are not being able to manifest what you want because you're not sure what it is what you want but that's really coming from a place of just imbalance what is causing your imbalance let's find out let's clarify that one what is causing the imbalance like how are you in balance out of balance actually <laughs> so what's causing you to be out of balance um Two of Cups. Oh, so I think there's like a love. Oh, I'm wonder if you're making a decision in terms of love. Is that what what decision or what is it that needs clarification in terms of these two of swords? Yeah. Hmm. It's interesting. That means to me there's a like a here you are trying to find out. You're trying to again the two. There's a lot of twos here as you can see. So that's like um what the, the feeling of unity in a sense but it's also trying to find that balance i think there's an imbalance here also because it's like you see there's like there might be a it seems like there's a third party and you're not really sure <laughs> which choose of the many um you might have more than one suitor at this moment or the person that you 
are interested in might have more than one suitor too. Um, so I feel like that's why you feel like you can't manifest. You don't feel in, in control here. Yeah, like there's a lack of control here. Um, I'm not sure, but I, but there's to me the chair. It seems like you there is a victory up ahead for you. Um, yeah. Let's so just find out the magician in reverse. Let's clarify that one. Temperance. Yeah, there's like an imbalance. Definitely a big imbalance here. Ooh, that's interesting. So, but but you are gaining it. You are just really want to say that either choice like that you make this, even though there's this imbalance. <laughs> I love that you have the butterfly and the butterfly. Yeah, it's like you, you do need to have that transformation. I think you need... I really want to say that you need to focus on yourself right now. Not to necessarily ignore this, but to... Um, allow things to unfold, I want to say. It's allow things to unfold. Just really concentrate on yourself and um, kind of grow your own, like... Like, self-love is big here. Because there's victory, regardless of... Yeah, come at it at a place of, like, regardless of what happens, there is victory for you. Because there is victory for you. Regardless of whatever decision happens. Um, I think that imbalances. I think you're also overthinking it, in a sense. You're kind of stuck in paralysis because you have, like, you're not sure, you feel blinded, you didn't, you know, like, you're not confident about this. But I think you, let's say you do kind of, you will know intuitively what decision to make. Um, and either path is good. I think once you find that balance, you'll start to see that you start to manifest things again. Um, here's your little spirit guide for this. So koala spirit, a koala spirit, which is like, a spirit has a plan. Yeah, I think you need to just trust. Here's a lot of trust in here. Focus more on yourself, but just trust that things are going to work out for you, and they will. Um, here we have imagine. Okay, so I wanted to read this guy because I think it's. I love the way they phrased everything. <laughs> um, so imagine. Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You are gifted per gifted with the power to imagine if you can dream it you can create it this is the time when your imagination is key to manifesting the life you desire spend time daydreaming fashioning vision boards to help you see your goals or meditating allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspiration and imagine these things being real right now then repeat what you imagine you will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic yeah and I think that's what it is like you're feeling very confused and you can't really um you, you don't know which path to take and you you do feel like you can't really see things so but I, I think this is a really good idea for you to just kind of create a vision board just play with daydreaming of all the different things that you do want and because I know that you have the power to manifest and I think that Koala spirit or the spirit will guide you in terms of this. Um, so let's try to find out a little bit, a sprinkle of charm so that we get a little more um, clarity here. Oh, there's the key. That's cool. And we also have, <laughs> I made this little dice. Oh, and some, and a little one uh, came out with me with the dice. So uh, here we go. So we have an N, an E, an L. An X, yeah, I think maybe it has something to do with an X. It's going to be somebody who's somebody's your ex. And then we have this one, which is like a, a blank guy. So, um, I want to say lend, maybe. Lend. Okay, well, there's a lot of things. You can, like, lean. Uh, but you will not be playing that game right now. <laughs> Okay, so I love you to the moon and back. I think you are. I think there's a lot of love here for you. Made with love. 
think you are trying to do that. You are my sunshine. You're somebody's sunshine. You have stuff that is still hidden, um, but will come out to life. Again, that dolphin is very intuitive. I think you should definitely use your intuition. Um, you have two keys, which is really cool. But before we do that, we have the little starfish, which is like um, very adaptable and knows what he wants. And here is the little paw print. To me, it means... Um, to here it's like take a step um yeah also trust i think you you do have you do have a lot of intuition you use there's somebody who's loyal to you who's near you um okay so we have two keys but here is the little disney key so as i always say when you have when you find when you get the disney key it means something that you've been really wanting is going to come to pass some magic is going to come into your life and it already i think you, you're starting to be able to do this. You just have to, um, like, again, just not focus <laughs> on confusion and allow clarity to come. That's really what I want to say. Like, stop focusing on how you're, like, feeling very confused about the situation and instead kind of focus on yourself, like, the fun aspect of yourself, like, nurturing yourself. And I think you're going to see that light like everything's sort of just gonna start working out and then focus yeah, on the things that you want um in terms of like daydreaming of like oh what would i want to do you know professionally like that's kind of i think seeing a future ahead of you like not now i wouldn't say like put all the details in terms of like the how but put in the details of what you want like oh i would love this or, or something like that and i think that's going to really help you um find that clarity and head towards where uh spirit wants you to go okay so let's find out since there's a lot of romance in general let's find out what kind of romance is start for you during transformation da -da -da -da. And we have heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, yeah. There is definitely here. I think there's something that is hidden um, with the person here. I think I think you're going to be okay because I think that is going to really help you. And yeah, just I think honesty in general is pretty cool. <laughs> I know it's hard sometimes, but I think it's a lot better. <laughs> to um have that honesty there because wearing masks is just gonna later on come back and bother you so let's do what kind of um advice we have for the star seeds for this let's see kind of which one okay oh we have patience and we have blue flame okay be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace i really do think that that's true um yeah it just says that things are there's things um that are leading it's like there is a plan you just maybe you're not aware of it yet but it will it will show itself connect to blue flame which is the light of pure love within you okay so i would say like also with a lot you do have a lot of blue here Maybe you might want to spend some time in water. I think that might also help to clear your confusion. <laughs> okay, group two, I hope this was helpful. And if you like it, please consider subscribing and liking it. I think you're going to have a really interesting summer <laughs> and in general transformation. Um, so, yes, uh, I'm sending you lots of love and lots of light. And thank you for watching. And bye bye. Hello, group three. So let's find out what kind of transformation is awaiting you. Beautiful butterfly. And we have the oracle cards here. We have the hierophant, the hermit, the star, the six of cups, and the five of wands. So I think right now you are in conflict because this is going to be transformation here. So it seems like you are in conflict. But what you really want is some sort of like, I think, seems to me like some sort of reconciliation of some sort, or like reconnecting. Cause this is a, a, a card of nostalgia, the Six of Cups, nostalgia, but like love. So it's like, they're young, but there is like some love here. Um, so 
it definitely seems like there is a lot of conflict right now. Um, and her friend here is, like seems to me like so some somebody you're learning from somebody, but to me it's more like this is very um traditional. Yeah. So it's like I feel like you're battling some sort of tradition. Um and I feel like this is you're trying to get that hope, but first you I think you need to go within to find this, to get over this. Um, conf and I think it's an internal struggle, although there's like a lot of people, but here we have like the, um, the hermit, but you see that he has the little star inside and here we have the star actually outside. And I think you're headed towards this to hope towards new beginnings. Um, let's see what, clarifying, um, what kind of conflict, oh, there we go. Okay, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords seems like there's deception. There was some sort of deception. Somebody might have tried to like pull a wool over your eyes, kind of. Um, so you, ha there was like some sort of deception. You just feel like, feel like all the swords are against you again. You feel like you're battling really strongly uh, against external forces. Um, you feel tied um, by them just very conflicted um let's do the car find the hair fan eight of pentacles work okay so maybe maybe here's the you might this might be having to do with work you feel very blind like there's a lot of conflicts with you at work um yeah you feel like like the work is a little too traditional you have to keep going at it and not too sure about it it's like, it just seems like there is a lot of that. <clears throat> Here you have the full which I think <laughs> that was just kind of came out. <laughs> so I think you're kind of, you're beginning to go on a new path. That I think you've been longing for, I think, the simplicity of childhood. Your childhood. Simplicity of just like and being able to enjoy things. You have a lot of conflicts at work. But I think you're starting to see that... You're taking some time to consider your options. I think that is what it is. Turning inward. Uh, and here's what the outcome of it is. I think you're going to have hope. Like you're going to see your, which way the, sh the star is shining. And you're going to head towards it. And you're going to start a new adventure. Like just kind of going off. Uh, <laughs> with really no plans. Just, just kind of being like a kid again in a sense. Um, here we have... Yeah, we have here your spirit guide. It's dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. So I think you're you're starting to. I think your childhood is a key factor in terms of like maybe you wanted to be something special um, in childhood that you kind of gave up that dream and went more of a, a traditional route. And I think this really is calling you. Your passion is calling you. Your childhood passion is calling you. I think you're going to start taking steps towards that which you really want. Um, here we have another one, which is Treasure Island, which is I actually want to read it to you, but it, it just means that <laughs> what there's like a gift for you waiting. It's really cool. So here we go. You worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance, and suddenly, in the midst of all, you hit the jackpot. You may have uncovered a map to a buried treasure or tapped into unlimited potential and potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot. Because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now. As you enter this fully this fully and truly prosperous phase where where all the long hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. In all aspects of your life, at this time you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others. As a treasure shared multiplies like magic. So I think, yeah. I think you're, so you're basically, I think, letting go of this struggle. Here, this is where this summer is, or like, well, this transformation right now, um, is basically that you're, you're letting go of less conflict. I think you really, <laughs> I want to say you're, you're going to walk away from something that doesn't work. It might be like, a, I feel like a, a, 
job that necessarily isn't making you happy. So you have to be out on lookout for, for things that are like connected with childhood like dreams. Maybe there's going to be a something like a new potential, some sort of like a new opportunity that you weren't aware of, but you're going to just feel um, connected to, I think. All right, so let's do a sprinkle of charms to find out what kind of, like, oh, <gasps> yay. All right, so I will do those, and we also have these little divination dice that I made. <laughs> DIY, I actually have the video um, for them. So here we have an X. We have a lot of Xs today. C-U-O-G. Don't know what any of that spells, but if you can see anything, it could just be um, just people that you know or some sort of something that is important to you. Okay. So the reason why I was super excited is because you did get this little star. It's a pink star. So I actually I love that you have two stars. Um, so to me, it seems like, yes, you are. Your dream is coming true. It is coming. Um, again, we have, like, this little kid here. There's, like, some sort of, I think, to me, it seems like there is a childhood. Um, something really important with to do with your childhood. Um, yeah. Um, here we have the wing. So you're close to achieving what you want. It's not necessarily all the way there, but you are starting to take flight to it. Um, do as you would have done. Uh, it's almost too simple, but it's all you need to get by. So, I think, yeah, you, yeah, just, especially with this conflict here, I want to say, like, don't really engage in others, others that are trying to, like, bring you down. Don't engage with them. Don't try to battle them verbally. Just kind of, mm, in this case, I think the best, I think they're trying to goad you into doing something you don't necessarily want to do. Um, and so don't react emotionally to them, you know, come from a place of, you know what you want, you're, you're, you have treasures coming for you. This is just, a, I would say, kind of a blip on your radar that you should just kind of and it might feel really strongly here you might feel like oh there's a lot of you know there is a lot of challenge here but it's really not i think it's you're gonna be able to walk away from it quite easily once you let go of that mental connection to it love and be loved there is love here and no matter where mm. yeah i think you you're definitely you're moving towards where you need to go and it really doesn't matter <laughs> where you're going um it's all of success is with you i really think that that's what it is let's see what kind of romance is happening during this transformation like sometimes it's a love transformation there is love and be loved let's see attraction okay so there's like attraction coming into your life where you're already attracted to somebody it might be somebody from your past um so you you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment moment fully I do think so i think you really i think there is a, a way of doing like a lot of attraction you are being attractive but i think <clears throat> it's when you are honest with yourself and loyal to be loyal to what you love. I think that's very important. Um, let's see what kind of advice would be good during this transformation, just to focus on. Abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. Okay. So I think... Yeah, I, I really do think that you're going to go off into your own, on your own in a different way. Not a traditional job, I would say. I think you're going off onto a new adventure. Mm, it's really exciting. Um, okay, but I think that's it for you, group three. I, I foresee a very good summer of a lot of abundance in your future. <laughs> um, okay. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading was helpful. If you like it, please consider subscribing and liking it. 
and I'm just sending you lots of love and lots of light and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hello group four. Let's find out what kind of transformation is happening in your life. It's beautiful little. I'm not sure if it's a moth or a butterfly, but either way, it's very beautiful. <laughs> okay, so these are our oracle cards. We'll look at them in a little bit. We have the six of swords, the five of pentacles. We have the queen of cups, the lovers, and the eight of swords in reverse. Okay, usually don't have um, lots of cards in reverse, so this is an interesting one. And I actually, in here, it's actually very, I think, very positive. Um, so here we have... Uh, so overall, I think a, you are currently feeling, you feel scarcity. You feel like there's not, you feel, you're worried about money, basically. You're worried about money. Um, you also have in the, felt confined. You felt like you couldn't move, restricted. But I think the fact that this is reverse is that I think you're starting to um, no longer feel that way. You're still worried about money, but you're still, you're starting to see that there are options for you. Um, the lovers, <coughs> there's that, usually there is that romantic feeling to it, but it's also like a choice. There's a choice that I think you're starting to make to cut your, the things that are binding you. You're starting to move towards the Six of Swords, you're trying to move away from that. Um, the scarcity, the, these thoughts of scarcity, I think the sphere of it, you're starting to move away to something is much better for you. You're trying, here's what you want to achieve. You're, you want to be who you really are, which is uh, very nurturing, very intuitive, um, magnanimous, I would say too. Uh, it's what you want. This is like very giving, very nurturing, and very also creative. She's a very creative person um so i think that's what is really kind of there so i want to clarify the lovers so lovers represent i really do think it's a choice um ace of pentacles yeah I, there's a choice but it's also a new beginning uh here you're going to be gifted with somebody so it might be somebody's going to gift you something that's going to help you financially yeah it's a gift. It's like it's always it's like appears like a, a hand that's giving some like a gold coin. So it's like kind of like a gift from the heavens, if you will. So I think you do have that. Mm, so interesting. So you are letting go of this, this um, being confined. Actually, let's clarify. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. See, it's like, there's like a lot of abundance. I think you are, you're more, you've, you've been feeling scarcity. You've been feeling like you don't have enough money. And here you are starting to let go of that. Like here you, is the thoughts of it, the fear of it, feeling like because of this, you can't do anything. But really you have a very natural giving, nurturing, um, energy to you so i think that's what it is so let's find out what's going to help this go so here we have buffalo spirit yeah so the abundant universe will provide i think that's that's what it is i think you are feeling very scarce but you're starting to see that again the ace of pentacles <laughs> sorry the ace of pentacles which is <clears throat> the universe is providing you um really want to say it's like as long as you have trust in it have trust in in that things are like you are things are working out for you, you are getting off out of this um phase in life um here we have building blocks and i want to read that to you because i thought it was really very interesting um like basically, like this is my favorite uh, oracle. I mean, it's one of my favorites. It's called the Wisdom Oracle. And my God, it's so, so spot on all the time. I love it so much. You have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when your focus needs to go on the foundation you built upon. Your work, your relationships, your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. 
Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you construct your life? Now you're making changes that will affect everything in, in a positive way. Your destiny is a truly remarkable and beautiful design. So basically to me it seems like <clears throat> you are on your way towards what you this I think you want to be. Her very creative, very feeling very abundant, but she's like <clears throat> Again, magnanimous, I really want to say. <laughs> so, but you're here you are, you're building the blocks. And I think you've discovered that <laughs> you do not like this feeling of scarcity. Um, I think nobody does, but just being aware of it is really good. Also being willing to open yourself up to receiving. Because a lot of times we are willing to give. And the fact that you have the Queen of Pentacles, you are already giving. But we're not necessarily... Um, allowing ourselves to receive all the wonderful things that are coming into our lives we feel um, that we can't we feel like if we if we receive it's it's like we're taking away something from somebody but it's not because there's such abundance in the world that it is actually more beneficial to all those around you if you are willing to receive so I think that's a building block that I definitely think you might want to concentrate as you are going through this transformation of um, learning to allow abundance into your life so, so that's really important so let's say somebody when somebody gives you money just you know thank them for the money I'm actually a believer in just like I usually just accept money <laughs> Like before I would feel bad, but I'm like, no, it's okay because there's there's a, a flow to life, you know, sometimes, you know, like when you give somebody, you, when you give anything, usually things come back. So let's say you give like not so positive things, like you give out negativity to somebody, it usually comes back to you again. It's usually... Um, <laughs> magnified or multiplied right but if you if you send out love a lot of love comes back in if you send out a lot of like abundant like you you give and and stuff starts coming back to you so i think that's a definitely something you might want to consider with this transformation allowing yourself to receive give it's it's totally great that you give but also allowing yourself to receive seems like you're you're a giver by nature, but not a receiver. So let's work on that. And I think transformation, because there's good stuff coming your way. Could also, it, in, in terms of like, that's finance, but it's also in terms of love. Be willing to receive love as well. Mm, okay, so let's find out what kind of, kind of goodies. We have a lot of sprinkle of charms. It's more like a lot of sprinkle of charms. And we also have these guys, which are these divination cubes that I made. We have the Y, the O, the U, U. <laughs> How hilarious. So U, and let's see what else. Um, B, and H. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that is kind of what it is. So I really do think it's U. Okay, so sorry, I usually I like to play with words. <laughs> I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. So I think hmm, there might be a separation of some sort. Um, it's interesting. You have the little cat with the little butterfly, which to me seems like you are being um, watched over, like by spirit, I guess. Here we have music, something to do with music. We have two turtles. So I think you kind of have to give yourself time give yourself time i also want to see that there's somebody who's being your partner who is also taking their time it's like i think there's someone there for you as well the dragon flies to me again it's it's another sense of transformation it's um but there's like this is also magical it's like there's a little magic in your life right now um there's something to do with kids some sort of yeah, so something to do with kids. You have the butterfly too. So this is like, wow, you have a really interesting <laughs> spring of charms. I think there's something that you buried that you haven't, that you need to go find. There's like something you buried that is important to find. It's always with me, with children. I'm like something in your past that needs to be looked after here. It's also... 
we have like the little fish i always say that the fish to me it's always like um to keep moving yes but it's also like they always kind of are in school of fish right so i think in the fact that you have two turtles here it's like there is a lot of support for you when you're feeling this scarcity when you're feeling like binded um there is a lot of support for you i'm seeing just ask for the support and be willing to accept the help that is being offered um yeah somebody's like really nurturing towards you i feel like there is a lot of this person whoever it is who who holds you 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 well maybe it might be one of these um it could be initials or something but it's like somebody is very nurturing somebody really like cares and wants to take care of you um you have good luck luck is on your side you know this is always represents to me it's like royalty it's um it's also family to me it's a balance of yin and yang i think there's wow you have yeah, I'm gonna say there's like some sort of like twin flame energy here. Um, which leads, it's a good way to segue to like the love here. Seems like there's somebody who really loves you and there's like, there's your yin and your yang. I really wanna say, and the fact that we have two turtles again, seems to me that there's somebody really in your life that really wants to help you. There's a, feels like there's some it's in your life, but it's somebody you, that you know. Yeah, I think you guys are in separation. Um, this is an interesting thing because even though you're in separation from this person, the time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It seems to me like you already are. But whoever it is still like has very strong, deep feelings. And hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, so could be twin flames in separation. But just know that they're there supporting you. They do still love you very much. And I think they're... They also want you to... wonder if there was a problem with that. <clears throat> Maybe you're probably the giver and they were the receiver. And there was an imbalance there. But... <laughs> sorry. Those are, those are all hypotheticals, right? <laughs> mm, let's find out what kind of advice we have for doing this transformation. Just, I, just so you know, I will be doing a love reading for this summer. It's called Summer Love, and it will be coming next week. So that might be um, an interesting thing to, to think about. So this is, is like really it's interesting. There's a lot of stuff for this. Okay, so gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. Okay, so I think if you have gratitude for all you have oh yeah that's another thing if you're feeling like <clears throat> there's a, a thing that i used to hear from a lady called um she had the life coach school and book castillo so she would say whenever you're feeling scarcity or you're like feeling you don't like poor or like feeling financial constraints or any kind of constraints really where there's scarcity is involved she would say that's the perfect time to give <laughs> Because it'll change your, your perspective. Um, so that's a little tidbit of information there and maybe advice. Okay, so thank you so much for watching Group 4. I hope this was helpful. And if you like it, please consider liking and subscribing. And just have a wonderful rest of your summer, I think. I think you're, you're on your way. There's going to be lots of wonderful like um, things happening. So I'm sending you lots of love and lots of light and bye-bye.